Need fast, cheap, reliable MUD coins? Go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOP for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. <laughs> Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. Got some blitzes for you today. That's right. I haven't put out a blitz on my channel in a very long time, mostly because every time I do, EA patches it with a quickness, uh, which there seems to be like a real focus on, on patching out any type of glitchy blitz in this game. Uh, they just put out a November update, a November patch, which they patched the... Um, the, the disengage blitz uh, there still is a pretty popular blitz going around out of the big nickel over G which is an outside blitz I originally had an outside blitz in my ebook as well but the, the play that I'm going to show you today I'm doing a little bit of updating on my ebook and the play that I'm going to show you guys today is out of the big nickel over G but it's going to be an A gap blitz uh, which is going to be coming right straight heat right up the middle and the good thing about it is you can do it out of just about any single coverage in this particular playbook you don't have to pick a specific play um, you, you can just pick a base coverage really I'm going to be showing it out of a cover two and a cover three but if you like running cover four palms there's a way to do it out of that you can run it out of the, the cover six trap it really doesn't matter so starting off one of the most important things is going to be where your speed is on the field because if you guys know the fastest guy's got to be the one getting after the quarterback that's going to maximize the effectiveness of this play on this particular formation you can put safeties at the linebacker spots which is really nice that's exactly what i'm going to do i'm going to take i'm going to borrow one of these safeties i'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take out warren thornhill because i looked ahead of time he's a nice speed safety is about as fast as it gets for a safety on this team uh, but if you have like an elite speed safety put him at this spot so I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna put my cornerback there because it doesn't really matter then I'm going to move this guy right here I'm gonna put Juan Thornhill in this spot because this is gonna be the spot coming off uh, coming through the a gap when it comes to the blitz the other guy I'm gonna go ahead I'm just gonna put Willie Gay this guy's like an 88 or an 89 speed he would work just fine if you don't have a speed safety to spare you could put him at this spot a fast linebacker if you got a close to 90 speed linebacker that can get the job done just as well but like I said the faster this guy is the quicker this is gonna work and the better the blitz is are going to be that's pretty much it these two guys are the only thing that really matters i got speed at both spots and then like i said you can choose just about any single defense now i feel the cover two is one of the better ones to do this out of based off of the fact that you're going to have a it's going to be a very quick blitz you're going to have more coverage over the middle which is really what you're going to have to cover against based off the fact that the only thing your opponent's going to be able to do really is short throws i'm also going to show it out of cover three but like i said you have three uh, mid zones here here you have two so that's part of the reason why i think the cover two might be one of the better ways to go so we're going to go and to pick that on the offensive side i'm going to choose a play specifically um, because i want something where the running back is blocking if the running back's not blocking it's going to be even easier so we're going to go with the flood switch here in the middle before i get into this video though i also wanted to say this video is brought to you by my sponsor mmoxp.com if you guys want to support this channel a great way to do that if you already plan on buying my coins is buying them through them and using my discount code money shot to get five percent off if you bought coins through them let me know in the comment section let everybody know in the comment section how reliable they are because they are one of the best coin sellers in the game so as far as the setup goes um, it's actually a pretty easy setup. It's not really too crazy. The first thing you want to do is you're going to want to shift your defense, which is going to be the RB button or the R1 button if you're on PlayStation. And um, that's going to bring up your shift defense menu. Then you're just going to basically hit the left stick to the right uh, and shift the defense. Now, this here will flip these linebackers, which I'm not really a huge fan of. I wish it didn't do that, but that's fine. The next step is going to be hitting the D-pad to the left and then hitting slant right, which you can see right there is right stick to the right. That's going to be sending the, uh, the defensive tackles over in that direction. Action. Third step, like I said, I really I kind of messed this up. I mean, I got Willie Gay over here, but that's fine. He can still do it. So we're just going to blitz him, and then we're going to blitz our user and bring him down right here over the defensive tackle. The last step is going to be QB containing, and then I also, if I have time, re-blitzing the, the guy on the left. 
the, I really only want to keep contained on the right side uh, because that's really for if the quarterback rolls in the direction away from the, the blitzing uh, linebacker or safety, which is really going to be the plan. And then I'm also going to guess pass because that's just going to help. If there's a play action or something, a lot of times if you don't guess pass, the blitzing linebacker will bite on the play action and tackle the running back or something. But in this scenario, it won't make a difference. Just always guess pass. That's really the best way to go. So like I said, I'm really just going to stay here for like a split second after the play hikes. Just kind of try to keep this guy off. And then you can see we get a straight A gap. I mean, that's really that simple. The running back was blocking. He really did nothing. Let's go ahead and let's go to the replay. We can watch that in a little bit slower motion. So as far as this goes, like I said, I did want to make sure that the running back was blocking. It's not a play action, so I can't hear anybody bitch about that. But you can see based off of all the shifts, all the linemen get sucked in over here. I only stay home just for a split second. Like I said, you have to stay home just a little bit or else Kelsey will peel off. The center will peel off and go right back to the left and take out um, this blitzer, which, like I said, I wasn't really happy. I really didn't want this guy. I wanted Juan Thornhill to be the blitzer because you can see he's not really coming through as fast as as, a, as like a 90-plus speed safety is, but he still comes right down the pipe. And for whatever reason, a lot of times, this running back, it just he just doesn't see him. Like I said, one of the reasons that I like the cover two rather than the cover three um, is because like these guys here, I can ultimately just have these guys cutting off the short routes. That's really going to be the biggest thing. I'm really going to control middle. I mean, I'm going to drop back and try. Um, but I mean, really, on like a, a formation like this, I only got one receiver on the side. It's a popular formation, so it's not hard for me to drop back into the tight ends lane. So like I said, shifting this defense over. Um, slanting right one more time putting this guy here on a blitz right where he's at blitzing myself coming down to the gap QB containing and then resetting the I mean you don't have to that's the last part you really don't have to do you don't have to reset the X uh, blitzer but it's really in my opinion uh, it makes the blitz a little bit better and then like I said all I have to really do is stay home a little bit guess pass make sure I don't let Kelsey get off and then boom we're getting a sack fumble uh, as you can see I mean this is just a super easy blitz it's super fast um, and I'm, I guess I'm getting the ball too <laughs> so I'll go ahead and I'll do this one more time and then I'll show you this out of a different coverage because there's a slightly different setup when it comes to cover three um, like I said shift the defense that's the first thing R1 RB and then um, you know uh, left stick to the to the right then blitz Thornhill I want him at about a five yard depth so that he doesn't get picked up too early when it comes to the lineman slant right that's going to be one of the more important things you see the defensive tackles uh, really pull over that's part of the reason that this entire formation opens up the way that it does and then I'm gonna bring myself down here keeping contained by hitting RBR one twice uh, and then if I have time, putting the X route back on a blitz. Like I said, I feel that helps. I don't know if it's 100% necessary, but I feel like it's something that you should do. And then just come over this gap right here and try to make sure that I stay here long enough that the center doesn't flip around. You can see, boom, he's coming right over the A gap. The running back doesn't even have a chance to get across the quarterback's face and stop it. So very easy blitz. Let's go ahead and let's show this out of a different zone coverage. Like I said, exact same setup. We're just going to go ahead. We're going to shift that defense. This thing here, though, like I said, this is a little bit different because you're not going to have as many mid-route uh, takeaways. So you probably want to leave Matthew here, bring this guy down to take away any short throws. That's probably going to be the most uh, important thing to do is you're going to have to drop that safety now. Then I'm going to blitz Thornhill, bring this guy down. I mean, it's, it's, it's the exact same setup as it was. Uh, just don't, you know, I'll, I'll try. I don't always forget. I don't always remember to put uh, links in a, dis or a, a setup in the description, but I will 100% make sure that I put a, a, a setup for this in the description because I realize it's kind of lengthy. And that's pretty much the play right here. Like I said, I just got to stay over. You can see this guy's right in Carson Wentz's ear. Exact same setup, completely different play, obviously, but difference between cover two and cover three. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video there. Um, if you guys want to see more blitzes, let me know in the comment section with the like button. I will try to put them out. Like I said, I'll try to put one out again, uh, maybe Monday, uh, because like I said, every time I put out a blitz anyway, uh, it gets super, super duper patched really, really fast. Um, so it feels like a little bit of a waste of time. But hopefully they won't attack this one too quickly. You guys can enjoy it for about a month before the next uh, next uh, patch comes out. Uh, so that's it. That's the vid. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Money shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.